Hello everyone, welcome back to the Tabletop and Hobby Stop. Today I'm here at EAA Air Venture to get inspired for my newest video here. Uh, I had a special demo uh, sent to me from the people at Capsaicin Games. You might remember back two years ago I did a, a three Tabletopia playthroughs of their Fighters of the Pacific. Well, they have a Fighters of Europe with three scenarios. We're gonna be doing scenario number one, but I came here to check out the planes Behind us, we have a P-51D. Over there, we have the uh, Spanish variant of the ME-109 German plane. And over there, we have a Spitfire. So even though EAA has no affiliation to Capsaicin Games, uh, I wanted to come here to get inspired. And we're going to be taking off with Scenario 1 coming right up. All right, everybody, here we go into Fighters of Europe, scenario number one. I'm going to be playing against Emmett as the Spitfire MK1. I am going to be playing the BF-109s as the Germans. Uh, but first, I wanted to go over a couple of the key differences, uh, starting with the planes. The planes today, we have the BF-109, has a Speed 3, Armor 2, it has the fighter trait, which means it makes gets to make that split S maneuver. And it has 20 millimeter guns, which means that first arc of fire, if we remember for fighters, our arc of fire are these first four cones in front of us. If you are in that first cone, I get double damage, which means I can take him out in one shot if I get him stuck there. He has the Spitfire, uh, once again, speed three, armor two, his, is, uh, his traits are Fighter, so the split S maneuver, and Agile, which means after he is done making his three moves, he gets to make a one degree turn. That is the difference in airplanes. And then we will move on to a couple of superficial differences here. Uh, Fighters of Pacific, we did it over a water-based table. This one, we have the shoreline here, but if I were to flip this over, it is a land-based map so we have uh over the european continent fighters of europe and then we also have these priority targets is what i'm calling them i don't know the official name but we have like an, a military base we have what looks like it could be a factory we have an airstrip and these I'm actually excited to get into because they look like a lot of fun. You can put up AA around them. You can, you can make them as bombing targets or even reinforcement points. Get a, get a airstrip on the field and have your reinforcements take off straight from that airstrip, which means that if I were to get my people over to bomb your airstrip first, maybe potentially I stop up your reinforcements. So I think that offers a lot of variation in play, just like when you start introducing carriers into fighters of the Pacific. This scenario one is a straight battle. So we have seven of the BF-109 fighters uh, separated into two air groups. And then we have one air group of the MK-1 ones so emmett will be starting with the initiative as shown in the scenario here and we will be going to a maximum of 14 turns we will use this first round as a little bit of a refresher we have a sequence of play over here every turn you start by determining the initiative first turn it's already determined for you but how initiative is determined is by your air groups and altitude. So right here we have one air group. If he were to have this guy turn, because air group is defined as the same plane uh, facing the same way at the same altitude. So right here, this would be low altitude. This would make this into two air groups. If he were at high altitude but turned, once again, two air groups. Uh, if you are at low altitude, that is worth two points. So you get a lower initiative if you are at low altitude, but he has one air group, all planes facing the same way, all together. So he has one initiative point. I have one, two. All of, all of our planes are starting at high altitude. Right here, the clouds, you cannot shoot into, through, or out of clouds. Uh, so those are the cloud rules. And then, and lastly, since Emmett has initiative, 
if he so chose uh, to, he could make me, he could skip and make me play all of my air groups before he ever uh, does his one. But if he skips, I play an air group. He then has the option to play his air group before I get to play my second air group. So that initiative is a big deal. So we'll skip on forward. We'll probably skip forward two turns um, since they're mainly going to be movement turns. Okay, so we are starting here at the beginning of turn four. I have shifted this air group down and a little bit forward and I sh shifted the air this air group up and a little forward, trying to bring those together uh, so that we're more of a united front when we meet the uh, Spitfires. Emmett has moved his guys forward at, in a frontal assault trying to uh, converge in the middle. Now, the according to the scenario, both of our mission for this one specifically says uh, one VP, one victory point per plane destroyed. Uh, he has more potential to destroy my planes since I have seven than I have his. Uh, so we took our first couple turns. It is now beginning of turn four. Emmett still has the initiative. So what are you going to do? I am going to let you go first because I would skip. Okay. Then in that case, I will move this group one, two, three. One, two, oh, I think I already moved those guys. Yep, I moved those guys one. So here we go. This is gonna get tricksy. I'm gonna set that there so I know actually just to be safe, let's do that. So I know that all three of these guys have activated as part of the other air group. Uh, would you like to skip again or would you like to, um, or would you like to go? Skip. Skip again. I, I gotta let you activate all your ships. Yeah, this is this is the troublesome part about um about not having the initiative is they can just skip, which I'm gonna go one, slide over, two for a slide, and three for these guys. For these guys. That way three of my guys are covered. This guy's caught out a little bit, but I think we I think it's for the best. I think that's all we can do. I think uh, Emmett might might get a first kill of the game right away here. All right, you may activate. Okay, then I will. Yeah, because you got right there is already a shot. Yep. Yeah, one, two, three. All right, and this will mark the first bit of damage. Um, since I am already activated, I cannot dodge. I already did my movement for the turn, so I need to smack a damage point on him and uh, hope he doesn't, but I think he's going to probably with this guy uh, or maybe even this guy be able to get over to me and, and get me with this last one, but we'll see. You'll be surprised. So, well, <clears throat> to me. One, two, Three. Yep, which that takes me out because I am in that arc there. So first casualty of the game goes to Emmett for a victory point. Right here. Yep. Yeah, then I will move one, two, three, so that he will also take damage. Nope, because I am in a oh, cloud yes. and high altitude clouds prevent any shooting into, out of, or through. Well then, if you want to hide. Three. Interesting. I'm wondering where he's going with this. Okay. On to turn five. We do our little bit of cleanup here. Who's going first? You. I'm going first. <laughs> All right. He's going to force me to go first. I think my best bet is going to be to make his guys have to move so let's go one two three which puts him in the line of fire so you may do whatever dodge you can sir and uh 
for the record, the dodges, you get one movement point. However, you can make a free dive. So if he wanted to, he could move forward and dive if he so chose to. Uh, that's not necessary. He could slide over uh, or go forward one, or he could even do the split S. So that is completely up to him. All of your options for movements are on the back of your reference cards. Let's see. I think I will move forward and dive. All right, so move forward and dive will put you right underneath me. Yes. I'll go one, two, three. I thought you said that you cannot go past. Uh, into your can move past, you cannot stop on the same tile as another plane. So if I fly right past, that is A okay. I will make you dodge with this plane. I'll be shooting at this plane. Okay. I will slide slide over here facing that way yes okay and then that will put him as activated also this guy we want to make sure we have him marked as activated and yes. remember that he's there let's go one two and three we're gonna stop outside of being able to actually hit that anybody and that is my air group activated actually that's probably a bad idea because i think i might have just gotten my guy shot your, your three guys are still in the, in the clouds these three guys are in the clouds so, yes i'm just gonna say this i think it'd be suicide to try and move around the uh, uh, guys and event eventually you could move out and shoot me eventually yes. killing me so or you could because you have a couple right here that you could yes get a couple of kills on I before i spring out so i was gonna do do that not make can do so yes. i will go one two three and damage that guy all right cause me a damage on this guy i will skip the, this time one, two, turn for three, and what do you want to do with this individual? I will slide and dive. Am I allowed to slide and dive? You want to slide here, here and dive forward? Uh, yes. That's what you, okay, so yep, you could slide over and then do your free dive, which would put him right there, and you cannot attack planes at a different altitude than you, just yes. so we're clear. Um, now activate the rest of my group here. No, I changed my mind again. One, two, three, I'm going to attack this individual first. I'll slide forward right here and dodge. I was, yeah, turn that way. Dodge is on fire. Okay. Because I like to live. Guys, sorry about that. That was a little camera issue. Camera turned off on me. Uh, so I was deciding what I was gonna do with this guy. If I was going to uh, go after the last uh, Spitfire to prevent potential damage or if I was going to go after one of these guys to get a little bit of damage of my own So I think I think it would go one Two and then slide that way and get a kill of my own on that guy is what I want to do. All right, and that marks that activation and Emmett has his last activation here. So I think I'll go straight to a right. So that'd be one, two, and I can do another right? You can do another right, correct. Then can I do agile to like turn a little bit? Uh, you can turn to the right with agile. Okay. So That'll make me face you're here. You a little bit. There we go. And here's where it gets tricky counting the initiative. I think we're gonna have an initiative change here. I have one group, two group, three, four. So I have four initiative. All my guys are at high altitude. Did you count him for a team? Yep, because these three are all facing the same direction and in one group. So one, two, three, and four. Okay. And then Emmett here, we have 
Oh, and I believe it's actually one per damage plane, so five. So Emmett here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, which means I, ha I now have the initiative. We're gonna flip the initiative token over. Now I get to choose who goes first. I think, I think, I think I will actually make Emmett go first. Excuse me. I will go turn one, two, then three. Sorry. All right. Three. And that guy is a a activated. That guy is indeed uh, activated. Then, then would I be able to shoot him? Oh, he's in my yes, you would. Yes, you would. I am actually going to. here so I can turn and go here which this is a fun thing here because now that he is in my line of fire you get a chance to dodge with him you go forward you will be out of my cone of fire do you want to go forward or do you still want to slide forward okay Not being Boom. The victim. now that is uh, chain reaction so what happens in this situation if you were to slide into someone else's area you could cause a full chain reaction of shots if they're still in there however everyone got out of the way so that is not what happened i will actually activate next turn one straight one turn for two and that's where i'm gonna end up activate this guy go slide up into another slide and then come out of my oh dive. Uh, you Wait. cannot come out of your dive uh coming out of a dive costs two move points oh yes climbing so if you wanted to you could slide and then climb but you would end here yes please sorry. is that what you want to do yes sorry. all right that is a okay all right so we will mark this guy <laughs> as complete and uh I will let you go again. Climb. For two. And then, will I be able to uh, do my agile in by doing another, another move? I cannot see what you are doing because your hand so, is covering it. So you want to turn here? Yes. Go right so here. So turn here and then agile to there. Yes. And that's where you want to end? Yes. Perfect and I will let you go again with your last last guy here. I will do slide. Oh, you slid backwards. You cannot slide backwards, it has to be forward. So you can slide here. Two, and... Am I allowed to? Oh wait, no, that's backwards. Then... Turn to that way? Yeah. So you cannot slide right and then go left. You can go forward. Okay, um, yeah, I'll do that. Okay, I can go slide to three and take this plane out. And that is an activate for him. We got this guy over here that I can one, two, three. And these 20 millimeter guns are very powerful. Uh, stuff guys if you if you catch your enemy caught out like that yeah. We'll go there This is why I had not ha ha having The initiative is very dangerous. Yes, very very big deal when you don't have the initiative um, but this is the only reason why you're winning. Okay. <laughs> So to keep a fighter group, I think what I want to do slide forward turn up bringing these guys back into formation and i think i want to just carry this guy forward to keep these guys in formation so now i will have two groups heading into the next turn which should allow me to keep my initiative so i probably could have maneuvered around to start trying to work over here, but I think it's more beneficial for me to get the initiative in this case. Turn number seven. I will in fact let you go first. Actually, this brings up a really good point because I have a damaged plane right here. That means I have one, two, three initiative, and he has three. 
I will actually maintain my initiative. So when you when you come to a tie, you do maintain uh, the current initiative holder. I will do one, two, three. And my guy was already facing that way, so he is in my line of fire. Yes, so we will show him as activated. I think what I will have to do to avoid being destroyed, slide and dive. We can climb later on and still make it out all right. And I will skip again. Because since my guy is facing that way, it'll be a little difficult to try and turn around and get, and get your guys, since I can't go backward. Yep. So I think for now, I will go one, oops, two, three, just to stay in the cloud and yes i am hiding now but uh <laughs> just gotta stay and stay stay in the cloud and try try and try and see and i will skip one last time i will start going one two three do agile and turn a little bit that way all right uh, i'm on the open before you <laughs> So my problem right now is I cannot shoot through. So if I went here, I don't have the agile turn he has, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. I think I'm going to try to get these planes out of the way first. And that way we're, we're heading out towards these planes, but I'm also out of the way, out one, two and three that will cause a damage marker onto this plane right here with this guy going so one two oh i could have did that right away and three to take this guy out giving me another victory point and we will clean up the table Emmett has two, I have one, two, three, four, and five. So Emmett now has the initiative once again. I'll let you go, go first. Climb for two and rotate. Um, yeah, I'll start, I'll start bringing my guy around here. What, what say you? Defer, Defer. all right. Defer. I'm gonna try to prevent one, two, three. So that puts him in my arc of fire. Uh, what will you do? Uh, I will move and dive. Move and dive. So that'll put him right there. Yes. I think. Oh, that is supposed to be red. I will dive one, two, three which will actually take him out. Sometimes we miss those those moves, that is okay. And then I will go one, two, three, and that is those guys activated. Go on ahead, sir. Go on ahead, all right. go one two three and kill your guy All right, which will get me a damage it, it isn't... since you don't have the 20 millimeter guns you do oh. not have that double damage yeah can't wait till i get those guns <laughs> uh, you're gonna lose <laughs> one plane versus yeah so seven planes two four or six planes Half. my apologies uh, would you like to defer or would you like me to go first? The problem is here is I'm one plane. Yes. Not doing as well as I did last time, but you have multiple planes. So yes. So I think I'm going to go slide two, three. Hiding in the clouds. All right.
And that will be turn 10 now. Probably gonna have me go first. You know it. One, two, three, he's dead. He is in fact dead. All right, nice job. But I'm a killer now, so I'm, I, I, I'm... So I have two AP, he still has one. Um, are you gonna make me go right away? Yeah, uh, 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 uh I don't know. <laughs> slide, slide, slide. Oops, slide. Okay, okay. You think you can get away? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, do, I don't know, but... Let's go turn two, three. Uh, that gets you the one damage. Yes, and Then thank turn you. two, three gets that second damage because yep and yep and that is in fact game so a little bit of a blowout on the german side i think those 20 millimeter guns are very very powerful especially if you manage to snag up that um initiative right away that can be that can be a very big advantage yes so I'm going to go ahead and clean up the map and we will come back with uh, our thoughts in a minute. All right, guys, that was the first uh, demo game of Fighters of Europe. Uh, I really liked it. What, what are your thoughts? What did you like about it? What did you dislike about it? So I love the maneuvering. Uh, it wasn't too much different from the Zero in, in the Fires of the Pacific. But I really, really like the Spitfire. It was a really uh, good, good plane. The 20 millimeter gun was very powerful. And if you're playing against someone, guys, in their going in their Germany, you best be, you gotta be careful. Yes. Uh, so the the fighters of the Pacific, the Japanese Zero, um, A6 M20 has three speed it only has the one armor though so it has both the 20 min millimeter guns and agile so it's kind of a blending of the spitfire and the bf 109 as far as traits go so it's a fighter with agile and 20 millimeter guns uh, but it just does not it only has the one armor so as soon as you touch those things they're done i think the bf 109 having the extra armor now german planes those were those were tough tough planes uh so i really like how it's reflected on the tabletop here is as far as you can do because this isn't um this isn't a super complex war game uh you're not you don't have stat sheets a mile long or anything this is going after a very specific uh feel and i think it captures it well uh, I think the special traits, having those slim down, having just a few special traits really works well for this game because it's such a light rule set, one that you can pull out with maybe your more casual buddies who don't want to uh, sit here and roll a million dice and, and read this super long stat sheet. I really like the agile nature of the Spitfire versus the faster bf 109 i think in future games maybe uh if you're playing the spitfire you should definitely take advantage of that initiative a little bit more the maneuverability to really get around and flank into your opponents in that bf 109 yeah just dive right at them and and cause the damage if you can if you can seize the initiative and get your opponent caught out I really like I really like that that give and take there um maybe we maybe you should have had a, another Spitfire out there I don't know um this is I think our second time playing the fighters of Europe scenario so we'll definitely we'll definitely uh look forward to seeing how scenario two and scenario three go uh that's all I have is there anything else that you kind of uh, had for thoughts. Fun game, guys. Yes. I I really enjoy yes. uh, Fighters of the Pacific, and Fighters of the Europe is not a disappointment. However, my personal 
uh, to the creators capsaicum games and don't panic games uh, I need I need my uh, p51d fighter planes I am just such a huge fan I can't wait to try them out on the tabletop they did not come in the demo game but I'm looking forward to seeing them out there uh Oh no, yes, it was an amazing game. You got your revenge, and I'm, and I'm gonna come back for <laughs> yes. it. Don't worry. He but... will be back for Scenario 2, which should be up uh, n before too long. We'll get another another playthrough up. But don't, uh, but all in all, great game. Uh, if you're going against someone who's in Germany, all, all I say is just have the initiative and be careful. But. Yeah, I definitely a game to play because this there's no disappointment in Fires of the Pacific or Fires of Europe, so you should totally get this game. It's amazing. Awesome. That's a glowing glowing review if ever I've heard one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching Tabletop and Hobby Stop. Click the like and subscribe down below, and we will see you in the next one. <laughs> Okay, big breath. <laughs> Are we filming this?